famous train. No, just kidding. Famous. Um, but what we're going to do today is do some battleground dominance with my Beastmaster 300. And why? Well, I have a very good reason for this. I got my first legendary today. The Kapla Eridun Warder. The reason why this is very good is because of the stats in the first place and the second dire frenzy reduces the remaining cooldown on kill command. This means in my already OP and strong burst gets even worse. But in the first place, I could really do a lot of damage. By just doing my regular things, I could even do more now. Because the kill command, if it reaches Bishal Wrath, I can keep spamming everything I want to. And even and let me let me explain this how, how this works in, in this in, in these days. Kill command reduces the cooldown on Bishal Wrath. Dire Frenzy reduces the cooldown on Kill Command outside of the out of the Bishal Wrath. But since I also get my Bishal Wrath up and running more often now, I will be able to do a lot more in a short period of time to surprise my enemy with a high amount of burst. Second of all, I got Titan's Thunder to increase the burst on my pets. Combine that with Kill Command and your damage is even louder and harder than you could ever held possible. Second of, second of all, since I basically almost got my order hall complete, I also just want to get, um, get PvP level up a little bit. Battlegrounds are extremely good for that. What you also could do is do it with gravity laps. I can't do that while in a random battleground queue. Now that's a bummer. You're going to kill the fun monster? Come on, Gatharina Skirmish. Ah, random battleground, there we go. Oh, Warson Gosh, the memories, the memories, the memories. All horrible. As you guys can probably see as well, I'm using Lightning Bolt right now. The reason I'm doing this is because it's one of my favorite pets right now, also one of the rarest pets to have in-game at this point as a hunter. The reason for this is because it's really hard to track and hard to find. I really had a lot of time wasted by not using the flare in the first place. If I did use it a couple of times, just to test it out, but one time when I was just randomly wandering the graveyard, being like, Ugh, I'm not gonna find this little bitch. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, I put a flat and my flare into the into a bush I didn't really think it could be in, and he popped up. Randomly attacked me, gave me a damn heart attack. But afterwards, I finally had him, and I was really excited. Been basically using him ever since. Been using one cage to knock. A few times, but that shouldn't kill the fun. Let's go kill some green skins. Or undeads. Or walking sakes. They can also be fun. At least if you find them. And then kill them. And then eat them. I want some torrent steak. I do. Let's try seeing with this guy. He's a dead knight. Dead knights are OP, right? Let's 
It's always fun to try to get, you see if you get stragglers or stalkers. People who want to kill you. So you can kill them back. Hey, a panda! No, oh, just this, just a honorable kill. I wanted a killing blow. You're ruining my fun. Can't team kill you, can I? No. <laughs> I'm crying. Bloody case. I mean, Dean D Hayes, Demon Hunter. You know the drill. He's being a bitch for playing a Demon Hunter. <laughs> bitch. Look, I got a rat cat. Looks amazing, doesn't it? I know. I think disc priests are quite a, 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 um <laughs> overpowered, powerful in PvP right now. As you guys can see, my single target damage if my pets are not with me is quite low. Trick to this is always trying to keep your pet on the target you're focused. This sounds like an easy thing to do, but in a battle when you've target got one target wanted to switch switch one, sometimes it's hard to keep track. I can't really have an advice for you on how to do this, but just try to use the attack target button on your pet tab to get the right target on the right time. As you guys can see, my my damage is not as high as I expected it to be. That's because mostly I'm not using my burst to full effect. But let's see how I'm doing on the damage tab. On the damage tab, I'm the third best on the alliance side. Only topped by Shadow Priests, which is quite a surprise. But that might be because they're buffed or something, or something special, so... Mm.
For those of you wondering, I, Affliction Warlocks are basically the I'm never gonna die class right now, together with Blood Dead Knights, but the Affliction Warlock has a lot of self-healing combined with damage from its drains, its dots, and its artifact weapon if he is fully geared up for it. I think I made a mistake by thinking the ad ad adaptation perk. Yeah, I think the item automatic remove is not really that good as I thought it was. Thanks, Blizzard, for fucking me up. No, it's your own fault, you bloody fool. I know, I know. Okay, this Beast Mastery dominance is not going as good as I planned, but as you can see, I'm dominating the Alliance side in terms of everyone who's not a Shadow Priest. So it's not clickbait. Stop being grammar. Okay, a big shout out to Zillary, who is a friend of mine on Bloodsview, who finally got the Spirit Griffin from Stormwind.
as a former affliction warlock, getting killed by them is not a fun thing. Um, okay. Let's do me a favor. Everyone, go to my chat and tell me I'm a fool for not playing my affliction warlock. Go, go now. Oh wait, zero viewers, so I'm talking to myself. Good. That will prove my insanity. That means I'm playing a, a, a shadow priest next. No? Okay, walk. No, answer. Okay, good. <sighs> Why am I talking to myself? Oh, yeah, it's stream. I remember. Okay, let's look at that recap, because that damage was insane. Got a basic melee hit of 49k from a warrior, I think. Got corruption on me from a war from the warlock and stuff like that. Hey, the horde wins! <gasps> what a surprise! Are you surprised? No, sir. Okay, I'm not surprised. Again, talking to myself. Okay, now to kill the fun in the meantime, let's do a skirmish. Let's see if my burst works better there. If I'm going to be so though in this battle crown, I'm I mean in this skirmish, I'm going to cry. Or, as I would call it, a just excretion at this point. <sighs> My son kept saying he can't use it, but it's a game, everything is possible, use your imagination. Damn true. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, I'm pretty sure. 2v1, just watch it. Okay, the damage on that warrior was quite extraordinary. Okay, there we go. Second attempt at a battleground. So like, let's do gravity lab to see if we can get better cues. I don't think we will, but I can still dream, right? Dreaming ain't illegal. Can't stop me.
he does a ch that tune from YouTube behind it when he does this dance. Okay, let's let's hear him tell some jokes. Okay, and that was Fenrir trying to be funny. Let's all clap for him. No, not you, you moron. Okay, I'm talking too much. I'm running in circles. I don't even know the way in my own order all. I'm pathetic. Or something along those lines. I think. I hope. Or not. Who knows what I'm actually thinking. Even I don't. Or do I? You never. And we completed another quest. I'm not actually sure if it makes sense. Let's do another arena skirmish. I'm already cute for one. This is hilarious. Waiting for the queue, do 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 do. Waiting for the queue, do 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 do. Let's move to the armies of Legion Fall in the hopes that we can achieve our greatest feat yet to fly. A dream of every human, but which basically almost every world player by this time has already reached. So I'm a little bit slow.
So we'll set a zero of us. It's the first time I actually took that has lasted this long that I had zero viewers. Can't remember the last time. And that's actually not a joke. For those of you who can't read Dutch, I just told someone who's a friend of mine that I ran out of jokes to tell myself. So if I was, I was wondering if she wanted to watch, so I could tell my to tell jokes to her, or that she might have some jokes that were actually more funny than mine. Sounds logical, does it? Not to me. Hey, a druid healer! This should be fun! <gasps> Again, it's not a druid healer! No, wait. Three! <gasps> Death Knight! Just look at him! Look at his armor! Look at him! He's like a tree! Oh, look at this little guy! This is my- looks like my ex. No, I'm just kidding. Where am I? Actually, I hope my ex, none of my ex looks like- that will be that will be quite pathetic. I gotta say, a compliment to this guy's persistence. As you guys can see, the difference in damage is quite obvious. Demon Hunter having the highest, he does, he has the second best, and then there's me. Um, I, I think it might be my lack of another legendary, which doesn't have to be a big problem for this stage of the of the game and with all the gear sets and stuff like that. It can really improve your DPS, your quality of play, and everything else. Okay, let's see. I wonder what this quest has... 
in store for us? Ah, brev la la la, Brawl Gravity Labs. Ah, ha ha. I'm a hunter in an Eridor battle. This should prove to be fun. Okay, I gotta admit, this is the best transmog I've ever seen. The hunt, the the hunters or rogue starter set, and she just makes it look even a little bit sexy. I couldn't get that done. Does she have legendary? Ooh, Cinderia. 970. Impressive. Has, does she have another one? No. <gasps> no. <gasps> oh, that's bad. Hey, Mark of Honor. Goodbye. You were. What is Hakamut supposed to do now, buddy? Huh? Hakamut needs to shut up. He's annoying me. And I don't like being annoyed. Ah, ah. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, my first time doing this. Let's see, which pet shall we use now? Rexy, Lightning, Paw, Snowbite, Fenrir. <gasps> Let's go with Chroma, which I nicknamed Fenrir. Funny, huh? No? Fuck off. No, I'm just kidding, just keep watching. <gasps> oh wait, nobody's watching. So who am I talking to? Oh yeah, I remember. Now I think it's getting all saying that shit all over again. But I ran out of stuff to say. Okay, there we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, go! Oh, look at that shit. Everybody's flying! Woohoo! Yay! Bomb. <gasps> what about now? Oh, well. Now that shit is annoying. Okay, we're back in. Yay, we're still alive!
I'm so bad at this flying shit. Chasing for far too long will get me, will lose me track of my pet, so I'm trying that for now. But I'm afraid the horde is going to win this one. Oh bloody hell, that's a nice one. <laughs> Look up flying corpse. Yeah. <sighs> Just wanted to say something and then I got attacked. Lame. <sighs> no, but the advantage of using a spirit base is the occasional heal. It doesn't do much, but it does get you the occasional boost, at uh, some times at least. As you can see, sometimes one of my bars, uh, my abilities, let's lose of the bar. I can't seem to get that, get that fixed, even if I have my bars uh, snapped in place. And sometimes it kills me.
three killing blows, which is, in my opinion, mediocre at best. And again, the bloody damn disconnection. Well, after this match, I'm going to shut the stream off and do some other stuff because with still zero viewers, I don't think it's really worth it at this point. So, hi for those watching my YouTube late, so I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. And if not, well, I'm sorry. And I just thought we might have a chance here, and now we're going to lose because they have three bases. And if they only capture one more flag, it's over. Now it's already over. See? Yeah, this match is over. Got five killing blows in the end.
Not my best, not my worst either. No, no, two daggers. That's reasonably good. And there we go. Board wins. Was to be expected. Did you see that? Did you just see how I saved my own life? I know, I'm a god, and you can be too! How? By subscribing to my channel! Okay, no. Um, this is the end of my stream. I'm going to do another one, I hope, tomorrow or in two days. Depends on my schedule. And if you're, if you're watching on YouTube later, because there's no one watching right now, sadly. I was just wanted to say thank you for your view. Every support is appreciated, every subscriber, every time you, every view, every sub is really appreciated, right? The reason I'm actually on YouTube is because I've had a lot of setbacks over the years. And this could be my way to a, well, to a better, better future. Because some people just do not get the fair chances they deserve. I'm telling you this not because I want you to feel pity for me and subscribing for that reason, no, but just because I want to be honest with you. I started YouTube for the very very reason that I visit everything in my life. I want to prove people that I can do something. Because if people just because I'm different and I have autism think I, I can't do the same thing as they do, I want to prove them wrong. One of the ways I want to do this is to prove that I'm actually good at entertaining people. Is this what I normally good at? But on my stream so far, I do not have that much success. So if you have tips, just tell them. I'm open to any tips. So those are good too. Till next time.